Okay, so once you have Dropbox installed, down here in the uh, status bar notification area, uh, you might have to click this arrow to show icons that are hidden, you'll see Dropbox. So you can right click on this icon, and you can go in and change your preferences. You can pause syncing. You can see how many files are waiting to be synced, how much of your space on the cloud you've used, what files have changed recently, and you can open the Dropbox folder and launch a Dropbox website. So we're going to go ahead and open the folder. And you see this actually opens a folder that's in my user profile on my local machine called Dropbox. <clears throat> Any files I put in here are automatically copied up to the cloud. And there's a couple folders that are in here by default. One is called Public. You can see there's a little globe icon there. This is designed to share files with the public, so you don't want to put any, anything sensitive in here. But whatever you do put in here, anything that you do put in here, you have the option of coming in and right-clicking on it and going down to Dropbox and saying Copy Public Link. And what you get is a URL that will take somebody right to that file. So if you're trying to share files with somebody outside of your organization, that's how you do it. You'll notice I also have a folder in here called Mavidia. So all I did is I went in here, I said new folder, <clears throat> call it whatever you want. Um, you know, I would recommend having one for personal files that you're not sharing with your employee, and then having another one, oops, sorry, having another one, um, you know, called work, and then inside of the work folder, you can build out a hierarchy that you want. So you could have uh, folder one, you could have uh, you know a folder for this stuff, you could have a folder for that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what you have the option of doing is you can come in here and right click on this folder, come down to Dropbox and say share this folder. And what it does is it opens up Internet Explorer, or you actually will open your browser of choice, and it will allow you to add somebody's email in here, which will allow them to uh, see the contents of that folder. So once you've invited someone to share a folder and they accept, it will automatically copy the contents of that file down into their local Dropbox folder. So then what happens is, every time you or your employee change a file, the changes will sync up to the cloud, then sync down to the other person's machine. Now you can also do all this from the Dropbox website. So if you go to the Dropbox website, it will ask you to log in, and then you come up to a screen that looks like this. You'll have a little list here of things that, uh, that you can do, and if you click on them, it will tell you, <coughs> excuse me, it will tell you what um, the benefits are, how to do it, etc. So you can also go in here to sharing, and you can say share a folder. You could create a new folder, you pick an existing folder, and you can actually share out that folder. So what you'll be able to do is create a directory structure within that work folder that has some files that may be shared, some files that aren't. Um, once you have more than one employee, at some point you might want to share a file with one employee and not the other. Um, that's, that's how you can sort of control those permissions. Now what you'll see here is I'm going to go ahead and open up my Dropbox folder again. Okay, so you can see I've created the folder one, that, and this, and I did that on my local machine. So if I go in here to my files on the website, and I go into work, you'll see that all those folders are there. Now, I didn't put any files in those folders, right, so they're empty. But if I go back into that folder, which was that, so if we go into that, and we create a new file, We'll just create a text file in here. And then we'll save it. Put some content in here. And now if we come over here to the website and we do a refresh on the website, you'll see that we have that file in there. So that's how it works. And if we had somebody that was uh, sharing this folder with us, that file would automatically sync down to their machine as well. So really the, re the recommendation I would have is 
build out your file structure inside of this Dropbox folder the way you want it. And it's worth noting that files that you just put in here on their own and they're not in a folder, you can't share those. They have to be inside of a folder. So that's why I suggest a personal folder and a work folder. And then under work, build out your subdirectory the way that it makes sense for your organization. Now what you'll find is that these green check marks mean that files are synced. So this is telling you this whole folder is synced. Um, there's nothing in it, so of course it's synced. If it isn't synced, for instance, if I change this, we'll just change the name, what's going to happen is that check mark icon will turn into a blue icon and it will happen fast. See, it turns into a little blue sync icon and now it's back to a check mark. So that sync means that it's actually syncing up to the website right now. And then from the website, it will sync down to the other computer. So that is how file sharing in Dropbox works.